a Christian in Pakistan had his life sentence changed to the death penalty for sending a blasphemous text message insulting the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. I'm going to read you this article from the Morning Star News. It says, ruling in favor of an Islam Islamist legal group's petition, of the Lahore High Court on March 10th changed the, the sentence of life imprisonment to the death penalty for a Christian convicted of sending a blasphemous text message in 2011. The High Court's approval of an appeal for the criminal code revision followed by Katan Am Nabu Wat Forum, KNF, for a movement for the finality of the prophethood seeking the death penalty for such violations has raised fears in a surge in convictions under the controversial laws, sources said. Relatives of Sajad, Sajad I hope I'm saying that right, Mashish, Mash, Mashish, again, I hope I'm saying these names right, uh, I'm not good at saying some of these foreign names. Uh, the convicted 36 year old Christian said Justice Malik Shazad Ahmed Khan ruled in favor of the revised sentence and then sent Mashit mash mash appeal to a division bench. It's crazy. Continuing. Justice, justice, quote, Justice Shazad, uh, Shazad, I hope I'm saying it right, had, had forward, has forwarded the appeal to a division bench um, to avoid pressure from KNF lawyers, and it's most likely that this appeal, like other similar appeals, will continue to be delayed due to such due to the fear factor. One source said, uh, Mashis ah, tongue twister, appeal of the conviction has been pending with the Lahore, Lahore High Court for the last seven years. A trial court sentenced Mashit, uh, Mashit, uh, a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Gorjara Town, Punjab province, to life imprisonment in July 2013 for sending a controversial text message to a Muslim in 2000, December 2011. Although there are several gaps in the pro in the prosecution's case, uh, according to his lawyer, Mashe was was also ordered to pay a fine of 314,500 uh, 300, rupees or two thousand and ten dollars in U.S. money. The large a large number of KNF lawyers swarmed the courtroom during the hearing of both Mashe Mashes. Oh, ah. Can't say this name. Appeal in the KNF petition, an intimidation tactic designed to obtain uh, designed to obtain convictions and harsh sentences, according to sources speaking on the condition of an anonymity due to security fears. Quote: They told the judges that capital punishment was the only sentence for blaspheming Islam's prophet. Uh, said and that Sa Sajad must be executed uh, without delay. One source said. One source. Do apologize. I'm not good at reading stuff on a computer. It messes up my eyes. And I do want to point out as well, the uh, Seventh Day Adventist cult is not Christian whatsoever. I refer to the guy as being a Christian because that's just, that's just what the article said. He called him a Christian, so I just, I'm just using their language. But the Seventh Day Adventist cult is not Christian. It's a satanic cult that was started in the 1800s by a witch named Ellen G. White. So it's not Christian whatsoever. They believe in workspace salvation. You have to keep the law to be saved. Uh, they're very uh, works righteous, false gospel, all this stuff. Uh, lots of heresies. They, they don't believe hell is eternal. They believe in soul sleep. All these these uh, wicked heresies. But uh, it just goes to show that what happens when you don't have freedom of speech and church-state separation, you have a theocracy where insulting the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad, gets you sentenced to death, basically, because Islam cannot stand out the criticism. Muslims and Christians, Muslims and Bible-believing Christians, have two different cultures, both theologically and doctrinally. Okay, two different cultures, two opposing cultures. Bible believing Christians, we don't try to kill those who insult Christianity. Muslims, they kill those, they want to kill those who insult Islam. Exactly. That's just how it goes with Islam. Islam is satanic, it is demonic. And when you insult Islam, the all the Islamists get into a demonic friendly and want to see you hanged and executed for daring to speak a word against the polygamous, pedophile, false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. You know, oh, I'm sure that'll get me a strike on YouTube and that kind of stuff because, oh, it's hate speech and Islamophobia and everything. Ridiculous. I mean, this is the the state of non-Muslims in Muslim-majority countries, just like the state of non-Hindus in Hindu-majority countries, like India. So I just want to show you guys that. And again, Seventh-day Adventism is not Christian. It is a satanic cult, just like how Islam is a satanic cult. So don't be deceived by either of these cults.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.